Hello guys, this is Doc M and I'm playing on the Minecraft modded Vita Beast server. Um, however you want to call it, well, we got a problem guys, or we had a problem. Anders in my base in the end got corrupted uh, due to a chunk error. Basically, um, yeah, the main components were destroyed, the reactor and most of the things. And yeah, the last few days we've been uh, spending rebuilding stuff um, we basically um, asked on the Minecraft reddit if it is okay um, that we spawn us in the key components that got destroyed and 99% of the people said it is okay I mean what you're gonna do it was just a chunk error normally we would have loaded the backup but good was not around he was at PAX you know so I think it was okay no big deal um, we refilled our reactor but we used uh, actual fuel rods we mined for and prepared here in our setup so yeah, basically what we uh, got back is our reactor parts, an MFE, a few cables and a few tank blocks and one magma generator, basically the main parts. Um, all the um, thermal expansion things are still gone but they are not so super expensive and yeah we decided we'll, ju we'll just recraft them then if needed and yeah will definitely be needed so we will recraft them with our normal stuff here without um, yeah using some some spawning or whatever so i think um it is okay no harm done it was a i don't know we still don't know why it happened um in any case um we still have lots of our stuff here in the old base this is part of the old base underground base here and right now um i went to the um nether and was mining a lot of nether quartz um, two three stacks here because today I want to look into applied energetics and get our uh, storage system under control and we need to make a few things I already made me a diamond cutter thingy here or quartz cutting knife that is um, think about it like a hammer or another tool and we need that to cut out um, certain components uh, basic processor parts and yeah we need a few parts for what I want to do I want to have one of these let me see um, we have these an ME controller we need that is basically your basic your main computer and uh, I wanted to have an ME drive and then I wanted to put a few storage disks in there on these storage disks basically you can uh, store items and then um, yeah cables to connect it all and we will have um, access terminal and ME crafting tables and we will spread that around our base that is kind of the plan and yeah right now I need to prepare me a bunch of this nether quartz dust because um, yeah, most of the parts, for example, here, let's look at the ME controller that needs here these fluid. Uh, we have th this, we have a few stacks, one and a half stacks, so that's good. So, yeah, we need these things and um, also these processors and stuff. And they are made from different components, silicon, and the silicon is made from the nether quartz dust and so on. And, yeah, need to put it in and then you use the cutting knife to cut it out and then you have to cook it up in a furnace and then you'll end up with these different processors and I'm gonna try to make a lot of them. Um, you also need storage disks. Let me quickly look that up. Mm, yeah, here are storage disks, different sizes and yeah, you can see they can hold 63 types of items and yeah, they can um, get bigger and bigger and you can upgrade them basically. So yeah, oh, that's crazy. Okay, 1K. What do we have? 1k, 16k, 64k. I think we want to make a few 64k thingies. So that requires these storage clusters. And what is this? Processors and stuff. Okay. Segments, storage cells, basic thingies. So what I need to do, I'm going to make me a crap load of these um, basic processor assembly thingies and cook them up and so on. And I'll see you in the end where we can then also look at our remade base. And when I have some parts um, done in them, we'll try to install it. But I wanted to give you an overview of what's going on today. So let's get cracking. See you when I made more progress. Lots of crafting ahead of me. <laughs> but it's worth it. All right, guys. Woohoo. Let's go into the end. Holy crap. That stuff is expensive as hell. <laughs> the whole applied energetic stuff and it takes forever to craft. I've been like crafting an hour and something for all the things. And then I had to go mining a little bit because I needed more of this sir whatever quartz. Oh man. <laughs> Hope it's worth it. So over there there is our island. Looks 
almost as it was before. I can mean you can see on one side we have some trouble there. Still not looking perfectly the same. And yeah, a gift for you. Hope uh, it helps perhaps. So nice is Biffa. He donated us this. Whoop. Let's go look here. The resonant energy cell which was completely loaded up. Really awesome. So we didn't have to spawn that one in because we lost that too. Um, so yeah, you can see here. Basically the reactor is back. We have um, yeah everything like it was before. We didn't get anything in addition also. Um, we left out the slipstream generator and the mana battery. As we suspect them to have something to do with the chunk corruption. We don't know yet. But, well... Today we wanted to talk about the applied energetic stuff and that is what I crafted. I have an ME crafting terminal, I have an ME controller, that's the heart and soul of it. I have access terminals, I have a drive and I made one um, 64k storage unit that is uh, insanely expensive already. I mean, it's pretty, pretty crazy and yeah, cable. Um, here, 51 so far. I think that should do the trick here is a few processors I have left. I will use them and tr try to make more storage units as we go. But for now, we need to decide where we put the thing. And if we go in here, this is in between the floors. <laughs> Just pretty cool. We left a lot of space here and we can have um, machines and yeah, energy storage and so on hidden behind. And I have the cable coming up here anyways, hardened energy ca conduit. And yet yeah, the, um, where is it, the controller of the whole thing runs um, with pretty much all energy you can provide in the game and I was thinking we will simply put that bad boy here okay uh, offline la 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 okay we need to set the power so we actually pump something in there um, okay let me see now that thing should go online. Yeah! Okay, so the whole thing is based on energy consumption. Um, the more uh, your parts you add to the system, the more energy will it will consume. So now we have our controller. That's a good part and it will draw energy from here. And yeah, we're reproducing energy right away when it's empty from the lava here, which is hooked up to the atomic reactor. As we had last time, we lost a lot of lava. I mean, the tank practically was filled up. Um, but what you're gonna do, I mean, we will get it back. And as mentioned, the uranium you use in the uh, reactors is also mined uranium, not... Um, yeah, we didn't get that back. Okay, so um, here, um, I think, next to it, I will stick my drive. And a drive makes sure we can store stuff. So I'll put it right on top here, I'd say. Boom. There is a drive, and in this drive you can put a disk. What is the settings here? I mean storage priority. <coughs> okay, I have to look into that. Uh -huh. hmm. Maybe you guys can explain uh, that to me a little bit. You guys who are into applied energetics would be much appreciated. What can we set here with the priority settings? Maybe we can figure it out along the episode. But we will see. Okay, so... Right now, we should be able to store stuff in the disk. It's a non-formatted disk. You can also format the disks and make them only store items, like uh, certain items you want. Okay, um, I think I want to set up a very basic access terminal. Um, maybe here is cool. Let's see. Do we have space here for wire? Not really. And we drop the block down. Okay, here is also not a good place. Mm, then maybe we can put it up here. It would be actually pretty cool if we had one right here. Here is going to be an exit. So I guess I will just put a terminal here in the floor. Oh, we did we hit it? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. All right. Now that is a storage terminal now. And we should be able to put stuff in. Let's throw redstone in. Yes, and it gets stored now. Pretty cool, and it will stack up. Yeah, and if it does something else, okay. Pretty cool. We can sort, we can sort in order, we can view, sort, craftable, sort items, craftable items, show everything, search, okay. Yeah, we can also search if you have more stuff in there. Okay, the basic setup seems to work. And, ah, uh, yeah, the disk now. 
Okay, it has these two items that you can also make ME chests and so on and yeah, and work with these. You can take these discs out and take you take them with you and put them in other um, devices that can read the discs. And this way you can easily carry around um, your items, which is pretty cool, I have to say. Let me fill that in. So this would be a basic access point we have here. And we could also grab that, have one of these, an ME crafting terminal, and with that bad boy, whoop, nope, can you pick it back up, yep, want to put that here, okay, with that bad boy we should be able to craft stuff, let's say we want to make a redstone block here, yeah, okay, it will pull stuff out of the inventory, yep, pretty cool nice we like that we can shift can we shift big items up in there okay it works like that sweet well that is pretty cool also looks cool it fits the theme of our base and yeah we want to have these access points all over this is a really simple one and now you can use these cables to connect uh, things together and yeah I have a bunch of these cables here and one of the things that constantly produces items is of course this here our grinder and you can connect uh, things together there's access points I have to check that out how that's how that works but then we could channel everything that comes from here via cable into what we have upstairs so I want to try that out so we want to we need to bring the cable up here Let's clear up some more space and connect it all. Hopefully I have enough and then we'll see. So we can connect it to the terminal, to the drive, anywhere. Okay, and let's try to... Whoop. Let's see what works. Ah, yeah. Sweet. Okay, so basically I have to bring the cable around and we can use these cables all around the base. We will have these double walls and double floors. So things will be hidden nicely. So yeah. So <laughs> right now I'm pretty concerned that uh, we will have another chunk error. Um, Anders and I we just had a call, you know, when we were rebuilding. He was also helping out. He was going uranium mining while I was trying to figure out how we had things, um, so we don't get an advantage, you know, by spawning in stuff. I mean, um, normally you would have done a chunk reset if stuff like that. It happened before on Feed the Beast that stuff got corrupted and we had to reset or something. So yeah. Um, but um, we said, oh man, if we lose it again, I mean, then we're done. K kind of, you know, I'm not sure if that really is the case, but um, we're definitely at the limit at, at rebuilding stuff because, yeah, you know, we moved and then like everything destroyed again and so on. Like <laughs> at some point you just fed up with it I would say okay so if we bring that down here now then we also don't have to worry about sorting stuff it will all just go in our storage system and we can grab it from there okay so now as we have the cable I need to figure out um, how to access that stuff if you want to figure out stuff in Feed the Beast best thing to do is simply watch um, a tutorial video by Direwolf and <laughs> I will do that now. Um, this stuff I could figure out mostly by myself. And uh, Biffa gave you some pointers about how, how things work. And yeah, so I think we will have our storage system up and running. That should help things a lot. And then I can also start um, maybe with the help of Anders to transfer stuff over. Because yeah, most of our stuff is still in the overworld hidden bases. All right, pretty cool. Pretty sure our energy system we have should be able to, to handle that. I have not much experience, um, we have it set to pretty low output at the moment, but we're, we're using some energy up, but it seems to be no biggie. Alright, so um, see you in a bit when I figured out how to get items into the system. Alright, I crafted more stuff. <laughs> Um, I have this wireless access terminal. It has no energy. I need to see how I load it up. And a wireless access point and an ME interface. With that interface you can import and export stuff and it should help us interact with what we got here. Okay, 
Um, let's break this one side here. Okay, put stuff back in. Come here. You go in. You. You. Okay, Anders was gold farming, as it seems. All right, so let's see. We put that thing here. Now that pumps in there directly, and that should be connected to our network now. Yep. All right. So if we have items coming from the grinder here now, they should directly be processed in our system, ho hopefully. Hmm. Okay. Best way to test it is, let's run the grinder and see what happens. Um, let's go up. Should be able to do that. All right. Enough. Okay. Spawn Pikmin. Okay. We should have enough energy. Everything should be hooked up. Now, here we go. Okay. Now we can see what happens back there. Mm. Items should be processed. Uh huh. Something came through. Yep, yep, I think we got it up and running and these items should now be transported into our storage system, yeah! Awesome! Man, that works pretty simple. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool that is. Now we need to find out how do we charge our remote control thing. Let's go here. Let's see. Alright. Also simple. Um, with that, you can wirelessly access the inventory you have in your base. Just really cool. Ah, girlfriend just came home. Hi, girlfriend. <laughs> uh, I don't call her girlfriend. Don't you worry. Um, okay. Uh, what did I wanted to say? Yeah. It, I never recognized, by the way, these dots flashing when energy is processed. I think that's with the newer update. It's also pretty cool. But in any case, um, that works. Man, really simple and awesome. I'm looking forward to use that stuff. Okay, now what happens if, let's say, we just put stuff in here? Uh, it just gets transported away. Okay, and we can also here set the config. For example, we could say always keep. I don't know, so and so many gold in there. And then it would draw items out of our um, managed uh, inventory, let's say. We always want to keep 61 in here, and it's always going to keep 61 there. If we don't allow that, it will just push them back. Ah. Okay. I wonder if I want to store the swords even. Well, they will eventually clump up our inventory. Yep, we have to sort them out. Oh well. I think with that stuff that is easily doable. Okay. Also, when I come in and out here, um, I constantly lose my. Do they stack? Boom. I constantly lose my um, hearts, and it don't come back. What I have to do is then I have to access the second menu or inventory here, take the heart canister in and out, and then it kind of works again. Don't know. Related to the end here as well. Okay. Um, but I think. Um, what we wanted to test work. Now um, we should try to hook up uh, one of these access terminals, wireless access terminal, and see if we can access our stuff via remote control. Okay. Um, let's turn that off. Okay, that works fine. So um, we want to set that up. It has a 16 block range at the moment. Well, ideally. Of course, we want to have it in the middle, floors always, somewhere in the middle, so you can access it from each level. So it would be smart to bring it over. Let me see. I um, have everything for cable here, right? Um, yep, we need more cable to do that. All right, let's do this then. Um, recipe. Okay. That should be good enough. And we can now go in between the walls or the floor here and put it somewhere 
pretty much in the middle as wireless access point. Okay, cable. Let's do the cable job here. Bring that over. Don't think those cables have any reach limits. There's also different colors of cables if you want to have really compact setups and so on. Okay, wireless access point. Ah, yeah, and here you can put in boosters. Let me see here. Wireless boosters. How are they made? Oh, okay. Not even too expensive. Iron. <laughs> we should make a few boosters. Each booster adds one block of radius. Let's do this. Make a few boosters. A few as we have. Just for the funds. Okay. Um, so let's say we add eight blocks of radius. I think they should be stackable. At least that's what I was reading. Okay, let's try that out, my friends. Boom. Put them in. Okay, now we boosted the range. Now we need to go to our terminal. Um, we should be able to go in here. We need to program our wireless receiver thing. Or access uh, terminal thingy. Okay, let's try that out. Do, 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 do. ME controller, um, it has to go in here. Okay, and now we have that whoop, linked. Why can't. <laughs> what's going on? Okay, let's see. Right clicking it, boom. Yes, we can access our terminal here and get the stuff from all over the place. Okay. Yep. That looks pretty. Pretty neat. Um, formatting these disks you know, use in your storage unit is pretty useful as well. You can tell it to exactly store what you, um, you know, s or um, also items with um, differentiating um, yeah, um, damage values and stuff. So if you have a crap load of these damaged sorts, you can also stack them somehow. I think that works. So cool. Huh. It's like a, a Google house or something here now. <laughs> Working fine. It's pretty simple, to be honest. Okay, I guess we're going to toss some more stuff in. Whatever we don't need, we can from now on have in our new and awesome storage system. We definitely need more slots, though. That's for sure. But, um, yeah, need to be, like, we would maybe need mass storage and uh, we need normal storage. Okay, what else can go in there? I'll keep that. The zombie heads go in. Pretty neat. Doop, checking from here. Okay, we can do a reach check for the remote control and see how far we can actually, but we should be able to access it from everywhere here. Okay, that works. Mm, let's leave our base a bit. Um, over here, it should not work anymore normally. Let's see. Whoa! Okay, that's some serious reach. Let's try from here. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Well, we can also reach it from the mainland, which is kind of helpful. But yeah, I guess we could easily extend our wireless network here. <laughs> nice. I'm liking that. Okay, um. You know, for me in my messy uh, inventory, this is like a blessing. It's like literally a blessing. Whenever I build in here now, I can just access my the inventory from here and take it directly out of the stuff and send it back. Yep. Oh man, that is so sweet. Oh, I'm loving this already. Why didn't I make it right at the first day? Yeah, yeah, I know. You guys kept suggesting it. I didn't listen. <laughs> sweet. <coughs> Very satisfied with that. Um, now we can extend that. This stuff is r um, really expensive though. And we also should ha have a look at the energy consumption of it. I mean, it's not for free. It will constantly drain our energy. And I wonder if our energy production is actually strong enough to handle this thing. Okay, let's look at our... Okay, so... Yeah, we are using 21.3 per tick. Mm -hmm. Power units of applied energistics, that is. Mm -hmm. The 
the cables add up, everything adds up a little bit. I see. Yep. And of course items, you know, taking out and taking in items uh, uses up energy and so on. So you need to have a, a stable energy production to run something like that. But I think in our case we're good now. Well, hmm. I wonder, do ender chests work when I'm in the other dimension? That would be perfect. Because if so, I'll just take, you know, one of the ender chests, hook it up to one of these access points. Let me see. Yeah. And then I can easily transfer stuff into dimensional. Let me see. I should have some more pipes with me. Item ducts, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, let's quickly jump in there and see. I mean, we should be able to put it here. What is it there? Ah, all those crappy swords. Don't need them anyways. Okay, so um, let's clear some space. Put the ender chest right there and get a item duct. It's our wrench here. We need to power it. Do we have something? Please say yes. Um, no. Seriously, we don't have a lever or anything. No wood. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, I will try to transfer items um, over. Wait, I don't have to go to the chest. I can access it from here. Did I put some wood in there? Yes! Ah. This is freaking amazing. Oh, I will love this. See? It already comes in handy. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. From now on, if I have messy inventory, you have, you know, you rightfully can blame and say, hey, dog, clean up the inventory. You have this awesome system now. Okay, now let's see. Mm -hmm. You're clearing out stuff. I just wonder if stuff keeps, you know, stays loaded. Like when I when I now go <coughs> to our overland base and toss everything here, will it be sucked out? We have to test that. That's going to be the final test for this episode. If that's, that works now, we can easily transfer all the things over into our new storage system here. Yeah, that's looking good. But we're filling up slots quickly. Going to need a lot of storage space for the different items. How many items are there? Hundreds, literally. Thousands. Oh my god. Oh, how many I wonder how many storable items are in the game and that's that's the disk array we need in theory. We need to probably not have everything. But uh, yeah, making discs oh man, this is gonna be some crafting. Okay, let's rush back to the uh, old base and try to transfer items. We will see if it works. Okay, ba boom. And back in the old lands, um, I have my chest back here, right now. So, oh, we have one more AV transformer here, nice. Okay, let's see if stuff vanishes. Yes! Very good! Yes, okay. Well, that will make things pretty easy. Ow. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I'm going to transfer stuff over now into the new storage system, but we definitely need more disks in there. Holy cow, that radiated me badly. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Um, I spent a lot of time rebuilding, but we have the new storage system in place now that will help. Um, yeah, hopefully we will not have another chunk error. If not, we will not give up. You guys were so supportive. That is just awesome. You know, then you just think, okay, I can, like, let's keep on going. Um, even if the next chunk error hits us. So, signing off. Um, I will be going to Berli Berlin again this week um, as well. Just want to mention that. We'll do some stuff there. We did some real life things like testing the, the currywurst, uh, curry sausage, <laughs> currywurst, in case you saw it. Pretty fun videos, go-karting and stuff like that. And um, yeah, you guys enjoy the real life videos too. I'm really happy about that. So yeah, see you next time guys. I'm out. Bye-bye.